Now, today we're going to talk about perimeter of a quadrilateral, which in other words is a square or a rectangle. Okay? Area is how much is inside a figure. Perimeter is the distance around it. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Perimeter is the distance around it. So here, this side's 10 and this side's 5. So, Jordy, what's this side? 10. 10. And what's this side? 5. So now all we have to do is we have to act like we're standing right here. And if we walk all the way around, how far was it? 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10. 5 plus 10 is 15, plus 5 is 20, plus 10 is 30. So the perimeter here is what? 30. That's the perimeter. That equals P. Okay? Now, the long side is called the length. You should be writing this down. And the short side is what? We, the width. Okay? So you have the length and the width. And that's what they're using this formula right here. Perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Why? Because there's two lengths and two widths. If you double the length and double the width, you have the perimeter. So let's look at an example. Here we say find the perimeter of a square. Now on a square, is there any lengths or widths? No, a square, all four sides are the same. So instead of length and width, you just have four what? Sides. Four sides. So the, the formula for the perimeter of a square is four times one of the sides. So here, what does it say one of the sides is? 3.2 feet. 3.2 feet. And if we put in for the side here, we got perimeter equals four times what? 3.2. 3.2. So what's that equal? What's the perimeter of this? They're saying that this is 3.2, this is 3.2, this is 3.2, and this one, is 3.2. 12.8. 12.8. 12.8. Okay. So if we added all those up, if we walked around this whole thing, the perimeter is 12.8. Now it says find the perimeter of a rectangle. So the formula was P equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Now I'm not going to give you this formula ever again. You're going to be expected to memorize it. Okay? Now here it tells you the length is 4 and the width is 3. So in the place of L, what do I put? 4. four. In the place of W? 3. 3. So I'm going to say the perimeter equals 2 times 4 plus 2 times 3. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 times 3 is 6, so what's the perimeter? 14. So the perimeter of this rectangle with this length and that width is 14. So now we want to know the perimeter of this rectangle, okay? So we know the perimeter is this plus this plus this plus this, okay? So if we were to walk it, it'd be 5 plus 3, which is 8, plus 5 is 13, plus 3 is 16. But let's use our formula. Perimeter equals 2 times the length, which is 5, plus 2 times the width, which is 3. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 6, and what did we say the perimeter was? 16. 16. So you can do it two ways. You can put it in the formula. Or you can just go around it and find out how far it is, one side at a time. Now here we got something that's not a quadrilateral, so you can't use that formula, 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So you just got to walk around it, okay? 4 plus 5 plus 3. 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 3 is 12, so what's my perimeter? 12, 12 centimeters. Today we learned how to find the perimeter. 